Hey, good morning everyone. Trackman44 here. Hey, today we're going to make just a strange little fitting. It's going to, um, I don't even know what you call it, but it's going to change elevation. It's going to raise four and a half inches on the top. At the same time, it's going to reduce the height of the trunk or the duct from 10 inches down here down to eight inches. So it's going to be 10 inch to eight inch, four and a half inch increase in elevation by 20 inch in width. Now this fitting is going to be 24 inches long. So we can start off here by just laying out 24 inches in width. We want to take one inch off of that. That's our overall length. We know we're going to have a um, an S and drive connection on one end, so we can go ahead and do that. Start off here. Put us a quarter inch mark down here on the very bottom. And we're going to mark 10 inches in height right here on the one inch mark inside. Then over here, off of that, we're going to add the four and a half inches to it. So it's going to be 10 plus four and a half, 14 and a half off of the quarter inch. Off of that mark, we drop down eight all on the one inch line. So we connect those dots. Here's our 10 inch in height. We're going to raise up the four and a half inches to tie into the top of the eight inch. That should be a four and a half inch elevation change. This is going to be our 10 inch down here up to the eight inch. Now for the quarter inch bend, we have to add a quarter inch to that angle and this angle. Ten by eight. Four and a half inches up, 24 inches long. Don't have quite enough scrap to get that layout right there. Here's the two sides. I'm gonna fold these, then it'll we'll be time to make the uh, top and the bottom. go out about the business of measuring the top and the bottom. So from your one inch scribe mark to the one inch scribe mark, you have 22 and 3 eighths. So it's 22 and 3 eighths plus 1 plus 1. So that's 24 and 3 eighths by the width is 20 plus the two Pittsburgh. So it's 22. So it's going to be by 22. Go to the bottom, which should be longer. Go from the one inch mark to the one inch mark. 22 and 7 eighths. 22 and 7 eighths plus 1 plus 1 is 24 and 7 eighths by 22. That's the cut size 24 and 7 eighths and 24 and 3 eighths by 22. We've got the top and the bottom rough cut laid out 24 and 7 eighths and 24 and 3 eighths. It's not time to notch.
time to cross brake, then the lock farmer. This should be what we're shooting for, 10 inches right here, changing in elevation going up 4 and 1 half inches and at the same time reducing the 10 inch height to 8 inches in height up there, maintaining 20 inches width all the way across. One thing I didn't tell you, you have to kind of kind of get a little bit of a flip inwards and back uh, outwards and back inward on the uh, top and the bottom in order for it to align straight with your trunk line as you're going in, going up, and going back in again. I guess that should make sense to you. So here we have it, the finished piece that um, changes elevation and also reduces itself in size height-wise. It's ready, uh, ready for installation. This is going on a particular job, and you'll see it eventually as it goes in. That's the end of this one, and this is Tractor Man 44, and I'm out of here, guys.